getting too, this is getting too corny. Yo, it's cool times. Gang gang to my cats. Sub to all my ducks. We're here at VCon 2022. Minneapolis. I don't know. Why did Gary V get a bunch of micro niche influencers to come out to Minneapolis? I don't know, but this stadium is insane. We're gonna go see, we're gonna see Gary V. We're gonna have people asking, can devs do something? Because we're in a bear market right now. We're gonna see tons of cool NFT people. Great vlog for you guys today. Gary V! Do something, please, Gary V. See that Ferris wheel right there? I am so ready to put like one of those flower crowns on and frolic like a girl at Coachella. Let's do it. Content, very, the content. I know it's uh, so Some national treasure, just try to rip $4,800 box, some light. Just to wet your whistle a little bit. Genuine draft. Forever Phoenix. Respectful raccoon. Entrepreneur <laughs> That one's ridiculous. So I, I still ride for passionate care. Dave. Oh, Dave Patton hooking it up. Dated as well. Cloud Machine coming soon. Whitelist spots? Two months we'll be working with Pixel Vault to create comics, content, and blockchain games inspired by the stories of some of our favorite athletes. If you are a fan of martial arts, you're going to love this project. More to come soon. Wow. Uh, Devs did something. Hey, y'all got Simpsons Road Rage? No. Who is that? Is that Patient Panda? We got him. Heck yeah. You got one Bitcoin to spend, you know, spend it wisely. Like, whatever you got. Shit, you have Bitcoin? Can I have that? <laughs> People are gonna manufacture. People are gonna, you know, you don't... ENS, Daniel got hit. Yo, what's up, guys? Honestly, I've been asleep on ENS, but he's gonna give me some knowledge here. Explain to me, there's still some low entry points on some of the numbers right now. Give us the alpha. Yeah, for sure. So, um, yeah, I think with ENS, it's basically a little hard to describe because it's kind of like a domain, like a .com domain, but it's also like your username for Web3. So, obviously, your your audience knows Web3 stuff. You're gonna be signing in and out of MetaMask, OpenSea. You don't need a username and password for each like website, right? You just connect wallet. So your ENS kind of like is a username for all of Web3. So yeah, what happened with the numbers recently was like, there was, you know, all these numbers from zero to 10,000, like literally 2876.eth. And li dude, everyone's so degen, we had like basically nothing left in the market for people to buy. And dudes just started buying up like all the numbers from zero to 10,000. And it kind of makes sense because it's like a 10K collection, like Doodles 10K. Well, yeah. Doodles 10K, right, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool, cool cast 10K, Apes 10K, everything 10K. So it kind of makes sense that people are literally building a community around the people that own the first 10,000 numbers. So it's kind of random, but uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. People also love the like the three, like, you know, the, the three, three digits the or three the three digits. letters. Yeah, three letters. I saw Cobb earlier today, Cobb GTA.E. Yeah. Holy shit. That is like getting a zombie crypto. It's, it's crazy. crazy. Do. So what people maybe not, uh, don't know is that when you're registering a .eth, the like least characters that will let you register is three. So you can't have like six .eth. It has to be zero zero six. So that's why the triple digits and triple letters is like a flex because it's kind of like the least characters you can have. You've been at the forefront of some big movements. Obviously, Port API Club yes, really sir. early on, but also some some cooler small like side mission movements. I'd call it maybe like a Goop Dude. I like side missions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Goop yeah, Dudes. Yeah, yeah. Goop dudes like, there was another one. But like, what, what, how do you evaluate a community and be like, all right, this is something like that I'm gonna have fun with and I'm gonna try to galvanize this community. For sure. What are, project, what are projects you need to have for you to kind of have that feeling? That's a really good question. I feel like uh, 
to me because I'm from social media background with soccer stuff, right? So yeah. I built my soccer Instagram and TikTok from like nothing, just like by thinking of like, okay, what's what's viral? Can I get my soccer ball and like fucking kick it off this like the yeah. roof of the stadium and like maybe like piss off a security guard and it'll go by? So the way I think about NFTs is the same way. Will it make people angry? Right? So MFR is my profile picture. Oh, right, yeah, right? Would, yeah. So MFR is like, it's so stupid that a three year old could draw it, but that's why it will do well, right? You know how it goes. Like, you, you're a smart guy with on social media. Like, you know, it's better to have people really angry at it than to have nobody talking about it, right? Yeah. So you're like, man, people are going to be like, this is so basic. Why is this worth money? So it's just the same thing happened with Bored Apes, honestly, at the start. And, uh, you know, with the Goop Dudes, I was like, it sounds funny. I saw some other people, they were just writing like, Goop Morning, you know. One uh, goop, goop, goop equals goop, one goop. goop equals one goop. And yeah. I was like, it's so it's so silly, but I genuinely did also like the art on Goop Dudes and on MFers. So I'll, I won't do it if it's like just memeable, but I hate it. But I won't do it if I like the art, but it's not memeable. But if it's memeable and I like it, then it's kind of cool. But you know, sometimes I'm definitely not like a genius or anything. I've fucking lost a bunch of money. Excuse me, lost a bunch of ETH, lost a bunch of money. Um, so I just don't want people to think I like. You know, know everything. I'm just, you know, going off. We're trading money. crypto, guys. Yeah. We're degens. We're gambling, yeah. but we're having careful. fun with it. And that's why I appreciate Dale got hits. Follow him on Twitter and appreciate it. Let's brother. go. Great to finally meet you. That's just sick, dude. Yeah. Likewise, bro. Awesome. It's cool times with Henry the Great. Uh, thank you so much for talking with me. So we're here at the CyberCons installation at VCon 2022. What, what are we looking at here, man? What, what fun are we having here at, at VCon? Yeah, so what we got here is a, uh, an eight-foot version of 810. This is like our mascot. Uh, so 810 is a Genesis Kong. This is the VX version, the voxelized version of 810. So we got 810 with the bananas. Sort of a photo op for people to be able to come take their photo, post on Twitter, get a t-shirt. Yeah. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I got my start in Wall Street Clowns Discord, learning from a lot of great traders. Curious though, because there's so many new projects all the time, what does 2022 look like for cybercoms? Oh, bro. Okay, so I can't leak anything right now, but I will say this. The roadmap that we were working on has sort of been, if you want to say fulfilled, you know, we bred our babies, we dropped our VXs, we own a ton of land in the sandbox and we're waiting for sandbox to open. Our VX comms are interoperable in pretty much every metaverse that has come out and that's sort of the point of it, okay? 2022, I think what people are going to see is an integration of cyber bombs into more of a IRL brand. We really want to go, we know we can build in Web3, and now we're going to show people that we can actually come into real life and build a brand. So I think it's going to be exciting for people to see what we've been working on. Absolutely. And the IRL starts here right now at VCon 2022. First time I've ever seen Cyber Kongs out in the wild, but appreciate my guy Henry for talking to me. Thanks, man. Of course. Find someone else, find someone else. Keep it going until we have one person left. Keep it going. If you have your hand up, find someone else with their hand up. And then do rock, paper, scissors. Keep it going. For the next set, if you have your hand up, come closer to the front of the stage. If you have your hand up, come to the front. Let's go. Hands up, let's go. This is bringing the spirit of competition to life that Gary was talking about. Let's go. Battle it out. Pair up the last 20 people standing, and let's finish this game. Instead of high up, let's go! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Ooh, that's too tight! Here we go. You ready? No. Keep the picture in your hand. Ready? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Come on, Mason. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Yeah! VCon 2022, Pop Art Cats. We were with Matt Chesco at South by Southwest. He was talking about a Gary V collaboration while we're here at VCon. So tell us what you're doing at VCon. You got something set up. Yeah, so basically we're here to paint the speakers so when they get off stage, 
we uh, bump into them and then we paint them, we make TikTok videos with them and we're just here to meet people and uh, do some, some networking, meet the holders and have fun basically. And people constantly want Alpha. Well, Alpha is, Gary V really likes Matt and he loves the pop art cats just like I do. So I think you're painting the actual pop art cat live you're gonna give away. Tell, tell me what you're doing later. So tonight we're painting a pop art cat live and then we're gonna give away the NFT and the pop art cat to a random person. And uh, yeah, that's what's happening tonight. So there's a lot of big speculation about Endgame. Everyone saw like, there's a Vladimir Putin type cartoon. <laughs> there was like a, a cartoon portraying maybe Baroque as a villain. But tell us a little bit more about the nuts and bolts of Endgame. So the difference with Endgame is it's really about the, the game theory, the strategy of the game. So what it's going to be is it's going to have a series of six challenges. And after each challenge, the players are going to get eliminated. It's going to be kind of like they make it to the end, the survivor type of, of challenge. So I think that that's a little bit unique that I haven't seen in a lot of other games. But that, that's really the whole premise is that we're, we have a comic book that tells a story of getting to the end. And there's six games that we have to progress through to get there. And so the first game's launching on June 1st. But we just started with the characters, so, um, and then from there we're going to have a game roughly about once every month, with each game lasting about two weeks. But it's all going to be uh, strategy, game theory, to try to figure out how to survive through each of the subsequent ones. But yeah, I think it's going to be really cool. I mean, it, um, I, we've already got a lot of people that are like, kind of blown away that you know, we'd have characters lose and like possibly like, basically, you know, kill them off in a way that now this NFT is in many ways, you know, worth a lot less. So, yeah. we're kind of balancing a little bit of what, you know, how to make it so, you know, people's characters are still worth something, but also have the game where you can win. Obviously, some people have to play for that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. we saw that kind of like viral element to Wolf Game last year, where people were getting you know sheep stolen and all that stuff. Yeah, fun game theory element. We've been covering End Game on this channel for a while now, so guys, a lot to look forward to. June first coming first. out, and we were just walking in here at VCon. We see, can you turn around for a second? We just yeah. see an End Game hoodie there. I have to say what's up to the NFT fam. Thanks, bro. Uh, no problem at all. Happy to talk. I'm not doxing myself. What? Don't, don't, uh, not on camera. We can't. What are you gonna buy? <laughs> the editor. What are you gonna buy? Everything. Oh! I'm the king of NFT merch, so obviously I'm gonna sweep the entire floor on the Death Toes merch. So here we go, we got we got the gray sweatshirt, we scooped that up $75. Where's that point zero 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 one? Who gives a fuck? I don't even know what dollars mean. But it's IRL to digital. We're bridging the gap. We are all co-creators of the universe. Even when you are just thinking to yourself. You are creating, you are co creating, and our existence and everything that we do is a co creation. And you have to ask yourself every time you think or do something, is it an, is it an add va added value to existence or is it a deficit? And not only to yourself, but your community and the things that you're thinking about and the overall sentence that will be in, uh, in history moving forward. That's how I look at creativity. Wait, I have to dox?